Well, good afternoon. Meteorologist Jesse Kelly here. Here's a look at the forecast for your Saturday. Hopefully you got everything accomplished early today because we're all beginning to see thunderstorms and some heavy rain begin to develop throughout different parts of the area right now. Just scattered about this evening. Right now, though, looking at lots of clouds. A pretty mild afternoon with temperatures remaining bus into the 60s and 70s. You can see pinpoint Doppler is showing you scattered showers are beginning to develop. We're looking at one band of some moderate downpours across Gilmer, also into Marion County over near Jefferson. Seeing some more rain developing near Bienville Parish just towards the east and southeast of Ringgold and we will see some more showers developing down towards center so as the airflow pressure that's currently out into South Texas as that continues to move more towards the east expect more rain to develop off and on for the next couple of hours before we see everything begin to really pick up after midnight. But temperatures though are pretty mild. Looking at 65 degrees in Marshall, 71 degrees in Shreveport, 74 in Texarkana, 70 degrees across center, and also into Mount Pleasant. But again for today, we have a margin risk across the southern and the western parts of the area with a slight risk just towards the south of us, across southwestern Louisiana, even for southeast Texas, where main concern for all of us could potentially be some gusty winds, maybe even seeing some large hail. Same story for your Sunday for the eastern half of the region damaging winds as possible because he's in large hill because he's in heavy rain as well too and i said 20 2 is possible but i think the threat for tornadoes is rather low it's not zero but the threat is looking rather low we'll break down that threat in just a little bit so radar and satellite is showing you lots of flash flood watches throughout most of south and even southeast texas flash flood watches also in effect for much of the southern parts of louisiana so again you see Several flash flood warnings are going throughout portions of central Texas, just towards the um, south, excuse me, towards the north and east of San Antonio near Gonzales, and also into Austin, Texas. So again, as airflow pressure in this stalled boundary will move towards the north and east, which will lead to more lift to generate more showers and more thunderstorms for the next couple hours. So expect rain to really pick up for all of us later on tonight into the day for your Sunday. But as we go into Monday, we'll see another chance of maybe seeing a few strong thunderstorms. This is going to be for the May night time frame, early Tuesday morning, have a slight risk across the northern edge of the region. The main concern probably for this threat as well, too, probably being damaging winds and large hail will break down Tuesday threat in just a little bit. So, Robin, so if you guys shows rain, thunderstorms are getting to increase in intensity, especially towards the west of Interstate 49 after sunset. So, expect rain, thunderstorms to really increase for all, all of us. You will see scattered showers, scattered thunderstorms. Throughout the overnight hours, so many thunderstorms here. Maybe on the strong side, and produce quite a bit of rain. And we'll see that threat continue for Sunday morning, even to Sunday afternoon. So we will see scattered thunderstorms here or there that may be on the strong side, maybe producing some gusty winds, maybe some large hail as well, too. We will see the thunderstorms begin to come to an end Sunday evening as air flow pressure moves more towards the east, towards Arkansas, Mississippi, even up into Tennessee and Alabama. We will see highs for your Sunday only to the 70s, maybe see some 80s out towards the west, depending on how soon we get the rain out of here. We'll still see those winds out of the south, 10 to 15 miles an hour. Monday night, temperatures are, excuse me, Monday morning rather, temperatures are only going to be falling down to the 60s, maybe see some lower 70s as we don't really have any cold air behind us here for pressure. But it's going to get pretty hot for you Monday as we'll see temperatures for many of us rise up to the 80s and 90s. We'll see those winds out of the southwest, 10 to 15 miles an hour. And we will see another chance of thunderstorms return as we head towards here Tuesday. But again, the tornado threat, while it's not zero, but again, we could see a rotating thunderstorm or two, maybe across the southern and the eastern edge of the region as we go towards Sunday morning, even for Sunday afternoon. But again, chances of us seeing anything tornadic is looking rather low, but again, the threat is not zero. So as we go into your Monday, we'll see clouds begin to increase again as we head towards your Monday in the evening. And we may see a few stronger thunderstorms on this cold front north and west of the architects. But again, future guys not really showing up very well. Actually, keeping most of the rain further towards the north into Kansas and Illinois, but as that cold front uh, moves more towards the south with daytime heating for you Tuesday, that will lead to more showers, more thunderstorms for Tuesday afternoon. We don't have an outlook yet for Tuesday, but I would not be surprised to see another slight risk included for the southern and the eastern parts of the region as we head towards your Tuesday afternoon. We should see all the rain wrap up for Tuesday night. High pressure return, which will set the stage up for a very beautiful second half of the work week. So rainfall amounts between now and Wednesday. Many of us will probably see about an inch, two, maybe even up to three inches. Future guys are showing the heavy total south of Interstate 20 between now and Wednesday. But keep in mind, though, 
Ground's very saturated in some parts of the region, so it will not take much to cause some localized flooding concerns. So again, we'll continue to watch it for you very carefully. With tonight's thunderstorms, Sunday thunderstorms, break for Monday for the most part, we're going to see another round of thunderstorms to everyone else late my night today on your Tuesday. So here's a look at your next seven days, showing you temperatures for the most part in the 70s, 80s. The so warmest day will occur for your Monday. Once we get past Tuesday, lots of sunshine, lower humidity for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We may see a small chance of rain maybe by the end of the weekend, but that's not setting stone as of right now. Nighttime lows raining pretty warm for the upper 50s, 60s, and 70s. So again, two rounds of thunderstorms tonight, Sunday, and Tuesday. Both rounds could be on the strong side, maybe producing some gusty winds and some large hail potentially. Do have to watch out for the threat from you seeing some heavy rain too, as we could see an additional one and three inches between now and Wednesday. More sunshine returns the second half of the forecast.